make mistakes, bro. We all make mistakes. It's human nature to make mistakes, bro. But it's all about the mistakes that you do and how you fix that and how you overcome that. Seems like my life been really changing on me. I know some niggas out here hating on me. Hey, I see the bitches how they changing on me. I know some niggas out here snaking on me. Hey, see like my. So I thought about it. First of all, Twigga gang, or Twig squad, sorry, gang squad used to be gang. But it's a squad, man, we a squad. We ain't no gang. We don't feel that with gangs and shit. We a squad. But I just realized, like, I might as well just go ahead and just keep on with the Nova today. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing Nova today. You know what I'm saying? She put out, I think, three songs, three videos since uh, she came back out because she's been helping Tom do his thing. And now she's out doing her thing. So it's only right if I go and do what I'm supposed to do and goddamn do Motherfucking hers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did your best. I'm trying to do my best and do my thug thizzle and and do these videos for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do my best. You know, there's a lot of bullshit going around me, but it's okay though, cause I'm still twigger. I still manage to deal with all the bullshit y'all done been through. Y'all don't watch me in this channel for a whole year now. Y'all don't see me go through a breakup with my kids being gone. Y'all don't see me move a couple times. Y'all don't see me. I do all types of shit, but I'm still here, still doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm doing my goddamn best. But without further ado, let's just jump right into it. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what Miss Nova talking about on Did Your Best. I seen Tom. That Tom, that is Tom back there. At school, he couldn't do the work. The kids all called him retarded. He got uh. a job in a warehouse where he packing a carpet. Okay. And he never moved up. And he never fell in love. He's uh. 50, but really 12. Thinking about giving up. She married young. Don't give up. Felt like she had gotten too deep. This is what we do for you. <laughs> hey man, so look, your boy just started his own credit company, man. So I'ma show you and I'ma teach you exactly how to build your credit. If you don't believe me, look at my befores. Bing! Check it, take a good look, take a good look. And look at my afters. Bing! You know what I'm saying? I've upgraded my points on one of them for 80. The other one I upgraded it for 40 points, you know what I'm saying? I went today, got me a $500 credit card. And I'm building my credit up. I got, I'm getting my collections took off. I'm getting everything took off, as you can see. Got the collection took off. So, if you need help with your credit, man, you got a lot of debt. You want to switch your debt. You want to get out of debt. You need help with your credit. DM me now. I'm starting off at $100 a month. Got a special going on all month long. $100 a month. And then uh, next month it'll probably go up on the price because that's what you're supposed to do because I'm giving out a goddamn good deal right now. But take $100 out your stimulus check and take care of yourself. Get your credit right. It, it doesn't take much to get your credit right. It takes discipline, determination, and you have to listen. You know what I'm saying? You really got to listen. You got to listen to me, man. You got to do exactly what I tell you to do so your credit can just shoot up, shoot up, shoot up. Before you know it, by the end of the year, I'm probably going to buy me a house and a car just off my credit. So if you need help with your credit, go ahead and DM me or you can call me 323-559-0042. That's 323-559-0042. Send me a text. I don't be answering everybody's phone call like text. I'm not finna start getting a bunch of calls outside of town, but shoot me a text, tell me your name and say, hey, I'm looking for the credit. And I will call you back in a jiffy. But yes, DM me now. That's $100 a month for your credit. If you're trying to get your credit right, you want to buy a house, you want to buy a car, you want to do the things, you want to stun on them boys, I stun on them girls, I got you, man. DM me. Again, the number is 323-559-0042. Or draw Marshall Productions on everything. PayPal, Cash App. It don't matter. I got it all. Y'all hit me up. Shout out. Some bullshit. Friends don't ever see that your people's weak. Your friends are the ones that's supposed to know you, bro. You're supposed to know exactly how you feel once you're going through. But sometimes friends can just bypass shit because they just think, well, I know it, whatever. They'll get over it. Like, nah, sometimes we need somebody to talk to. Sometimes we need another person that we don't even know to talk to. That's why I tell people all the time, I like talking, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can talk to me about anything I want to. I've helped one dude, he told me I changed his whole entire life just by talking to him. He was going through a breakup and everything too. I just went through one. I got the experience. I know, you know what I'm saying? Doing my best. They don't speak, he was a rock star in small uh. bars until the gates weren't paying bills. He had his daughter in the car. Too. That sucks, every though. day he wonders if he could have been a star. Yeah, that sucks. Got to. It was. Hey, was that her daddy? Is she talking about her dad? I think she's talking about her pet, her mom and dad, huh? I think I caught that. Let me know. Comment down below. Let me know, bro. She's talking about her mom and dad and shit, but it seemed like it to me. 
Seem like to me. That's shit crazy, man. You know, you, as parents, you gotta sacrifice some shit, you know, for your kids. You know what I mean? You gotta sacrifice some shit. I'm sacrificing not seeing her right now to come to Dallas to help my sister and shit. That's a whole nother story. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. Anyways, but I sacrificed a lot, you know what I'm saying, by coming to help her and doing all this other shit. So it's like, you have to sacrifice some things in the world for your kids. You know what I'm saying? I'm sacrificing to be away from them right now to help someone, like I said. But in the long run, it's benefit me to benefit them. You know what I'm saying? I'm pushing my YouTube channel when this blows. My kids will be took care of for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? With my credit going up, they're gonna be took care of for the rest of their life. You know, with all the shit that I'm doing, they're gonna be took care of for the rest of their life. I make sure that I always do my best, no matter what I go through in life. I always gotta do my best, even with this hurt back. I'm in so much pain right now. You can't even tell I'm in pain. I barely can even fucking walk right now. You know what I'm saying? But it's part of life. I gotta deal with the shit. I'm still do my best, bro. Got to. <laughs> That shit sucks, bro. When you got health problems and you going through shit, you know what I mean? And you got no choice but to deal with it. Like I said, I'm dealing with this back problem. For, I've been dealing with this shit for three years, almost four years. I got into a bad wreck. Slip disc in my neck, pinch nerves in my neck, pinch nerves and slip disc all down my back. Gotta deal with it. I don't take pills either, so I'm just dealing with the shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit sucks. Before he could finish school, he got busy acting dumb because he didn't know what to do. Uh, he ignored he had his girl till her mother stopped calling too. On his deathbed, he wished for the daughter he never knew. Damn. She loved her family, two girls and two boys. Uh, Husband in the garage, she yells she's sick of the noise. And one day he's out riding and he dies in a crash. Now she do anything to have the buzz of his shock of That sucks. Life always happens like that, man, where, you know, you, you fight with somebody. That's like me and my sister right now, bro. We're going through some shit, bro, but I wouldn't want nothing to happen to her, of course. I might say some shit in my head or whatever, but I wouldn't want nothing to happen to her at the end of the day because she still got kids. Her kids still need her regardless. So it's like you you can't fight with a labor body. You can't sit there and have ill will with people, man. It's like it's better to fucking, uh, and that's sad because I feel like I'm contradicting myself right now because I fucking hate this nigga. But I'm going to have to learn one day. To let shit go, which I've already let, it's a lot of shit, I'm not trying to get in my business, we're trying to be talking about this, but it just goes with it, you know what I'm saying? I'll just stop talking, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Good support system right there though. We all make mistakes, bro. We all make mistakes. It's human nature to make mistakes, bro. But it's all about the mistakes that you do and how you fix that and how you overcome that. Anything can be overcame. Felonies, everything that you go through in life can overcome. I've overcame my daughter dying. I've had to. I had no choice. I still gotta do my best for my other kids. So oh, you gotta keep your mind clear, bro. That's the main thing. Keep your mind clear. Don't let drugs overpower you, don't let alcohol overpower you, none of that shit. Always do your best, guys. No matter what nobody tells you, just do your best, guys, okay? Fuck the world. The world is going to shambles. Get your credit right, start your own business, fuck nine to fives, do all this shit, do your own thing, start your YouTube channel, start your business, start you something that you can live for for the rest of your life. If I die tomorrow, my videos will live on as long as YouTube's available. So I'm basically gonna be a legend, you know what I'm saying? I will live forever with my videos because everybody gets to see what kind of person I am. I'm doing my best, bro. Nothing to prove to me. Way more. Way more to you than the wars that you lose, man. For real. Way more to you than the wars that we lose. We lose shit every day, bro. It's okay. It's okay. At the end of the day, it's not okay when you lose people, but fuck it. We can't do nothing about it, bro. What can I do about my daughter dying? Nothing. 
I can't stay sad and just hate life. I can't do that. I got other kids to think about. You know what I'm saying? So I have to continue to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. The shit me and my sister are going through, I can't let that stop me from doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? I got to control my own life. I got to control the shit that I do. I got to control my actions. I got to control everything that I do. My mistakes are my mistakes. They're on me. As long as I can fix them and come to, I'm good. So everybody, y'all just make sure y'all do your best, man. If you want to start that business, start that business. If you want to do anything in this world that you want to do, man, do that shit. And start now. Everybody thinks it's hard to start a business. My mom started her own business. It wasn't hard. My sister started her own business. It wasn't hard. My little cousin started his own business. It wasn't hard. My other little cousin had his own little business. It wasn't hard. I showed everybody how to start a business. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard. It's not hard. You don't have to have a bunch of money. If you want to open up stores and shit, then yeah. But shit, get your credit right. If you if you want to open up a business and you ain't financially straight, shit, get your credit right. Holla at me, credit new, I got you. I'll get your credit right. Within shit, six months to a year, depending on how your personal credit is, open up your business. Now your business goes based off your personal credit, and now you got a good ass, a uh, good ass business and personal credit. Now you can go buy that house. Now you can get that business loan. Now you can get anything that you want to get. But come on, man, we all gotta do our best. Now y'all know me. I'm gonna keep talking to shit, so I'm gonna go ahead and right here. But man, I love y'all, bro. Make sure y'all do y'all best, man. Shout out.